We want to evaluate the given expression. Notice how we have addition and division. And since multiplication and division have priority over addition and subtraction, the first step is to determine 2 sevenths divided by 5 sevenths. However, however, dividing by a fraction is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal, which means dividing by 5 sevenths is equivalent to multiplying by 7 fifths. So let's write the expression as 1 seventh plus 2 sevenths times the reciprocal of 5 sevenths, which is 7 fifths. And now we multiply. Normally we simplify before multiplying, so let's write this as 1 seventh plus, to multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators and denominators. So let's write the product as 2 times 7 over 7 times 5. And now let's simplify out the common factors between the numerator and denominator before determining the products. Notice how we have a common factor of seven between the numerator and denominator. Seven divided by seven simplifies to one. Or we can say there's one, seven, and seven here, as well as here. And sometimes we'll see the simplification shown in this form here as well. Now the only common factor between the numerator and denominator is one, and therefore we can multiply knowing the product will be in simplified form. So now we have one seventh and then plus two times one over one times five, which gives us two fifths. And now of course the last step is to determine the sum. In order to add fractions, we must obtain a common denominator, hopefully the least common denominator. In this case, because the only common factor between seven and five is one, the least common denominator or least common multiple of seven and five is seven times five, which is equal to 35. So now we write each fraction as an equivalent fraction with the denominator of 35. And therefore we multiply the numerator and denominator of one seventh by five, and we multiply the numerator and denominator of two fifths by seven. Notice now we do have a common denominator of 35. One seventh is equivalent to five thirty-fifths, plus two fifths is equivalent to 14 thirty-fifths, and now that we have a common denominator, we can determine the sum. The denominator remains 35, and the numerator is five plus 14, which is 19. The only common factor between 19 and 35 is one, and therefore 19 35ths is simplified. I hope you found this helpful.